This demonstration shows the operational characteristics of rad torque guns. The socket will run the nut onto the thread until some resistance or torque develops and the socket will stop turning. The barrel of the wrench and the reaction arm will start to rotate in the opposite direction until the arm stops against the reaction surface. When you install reaction arms, it's very important to do it correctly. First, ensure the mating surfaces are clean. Install the reaction arm by sliding it onto the barrel with the correct side out. The arm extensions should always be away from the gun. Installing it backwards may place the extensions too close to your hand and result in injury. With the reaction arm firmly seated, lock it to the barrel using a serviceable circlip. Make sure you install the lock pin in the socket and set the O-ring to keep it in place. When setting the rad torque wrench for the required torque, identify the correct pressure on the calibration chart and adjust the air regulator to suit. To achieve accurate torque, the torque wrench must be running while you set the pressure on the gauge. Note that while the torque wrench is stopped, the gauge displays a slightly higher pressure than what you had set with the gun running. This is normal. Proper torque will be delivered under working load. Unlike impact wrenches, the rad torque wrench never transmits working torque forces to the operator's hands. The torque is applied between the reaction surface and the nut being turned. You can easily rotate the barrel of the rad torque wrench to place the reaction arm in the desired position. The barrel is designed with a unique indexed ball system that allows the barrel to maintain a set position. However, the operator can always rotate and reposition the handle even under full load. 